Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the DP News Online video podcast. This one's for the week ending November 9th, 2008. In this episode, Annie McPhee performs her song, Last Pine on the Mountain, at the Great American Dulcimer Convention. And then a special report from Winfield, Kansas. This is from our DPN Online reporter, Angela Hames and Jeff Hames, bringing us some moments from this year's Walnut Valley Festival. Thanks for joining us. And now, Annie McPhee. Standing like a stone The beetles took the others down And left him all alone I cannot reach around him His trunk is too wide And he will never be cut down Till one of us has died When I first came to live here He was half his girth I watched the growth ring Spatten him with each turn of the he saved my young cat's life once when dogs ran through one night. Safe in his highest branches, he held her till daylight. He's the last pine on the mountain, the last one of his kind. There's maples, hickories, oaks, and ash, but just this one lone pine. May he grow another century like the giants before his time. The last pine on the mountain, that good old friend of mine. That cat of mine lived 20 years, been gone for 15 more. And all that time that pine tree stood inside of my back door. Unbroken by the snowfall, the lightning strike and drought. He gives me hope that both of us can live a long life out. Now a tree like him, long decades of slow growth must employ. Takes one fool with a chainsaw, five minutes to destroy. You can't call me a tree hugger, but I'm not afraid to say. I'd throw my arms around him to save him any day. He's the last pine on the mountain, the last one of his kind. There's maples, hickories, oaks, and ash, but just this one long pine. May he grow another century like the giants before our time. The last pine on the mountain, that good old friend of mine. Last pine on the mountain, that good old friend of mine. It's down there somewhere. <laughs> well, see, I got this chicken got distracted because see, this chicken hates honey truck seeds, and it saw one and it had, it had to go attack it. <laughs>
all these reasons you should never, ever put your foot up in a right smell. This, this, was in October, this was in October, and we did not follow it. Special thanks to Angela Hames for that report. And that is our episode for this week. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to check out our online archives at dpnews.com for both the video and audio podcasts. Until next week, for Dolsper Players News, I'm Bing Futch. <laughs>